Hey, I'm Sharon, and today we're making Asian fish tacos with a sriracha aioli. So for today's dish, I chose mahi-mahi, which is great because it really soaks up whatever marinade you put it in. Now, to make that marinade, it's really similar to Sharon's Soylicious Salmon. You can find that video on my channel. I'm starting with half a cup of soy sauce and then my favorite, rice vinegar. We're going to do about oh, eighth of a cup. That's really going to soften up the fish, even though it's already buttery as it is. Now, we're going to use sesame oil for this marinade. You only need a little bit. Uh, because sesame oil, sesame oil is really, I guess, strong. So there we go. That's about a teaspoon. And then I cannot live without my chili flakes. So we're going to throw in some red pepper flakes. Okay. I like it really spicy, so I'm taking off this stupid top. And there we go. Feel free to adjust according to how much heat you can handle. You can use chili paste, you can actually chop up some jalapenos, throw them in there with the seeds, and you're good to go. Now, this is a really simple marinade. All that's left is some garlic powder, a lot of garlic powder, a ton of garlic powder, and black pepper. Notice I'm not adding any salt because soy sauce is already chock full of salt, and Adding extra salt is completely unnecessary. So there is our marinade. Give it a nice whisk. It smells delicious. And throw in your fish. Now you can also use the Ziploc bag method, which I love. But since we're, we're only doing four small pieces of fish, uh, putting them in the bowl will do just fine. Now I'm going to set those aside and let them marinate for about 20 minutes. You don't need to do that, marinate them any longer than that because you don't want the fish to start breaking down. It's a really soft fish. What we're gonna do now is start making our sriracha sauce. So that's gonna go on the inside of your tortilla. And usually you do sour cream or Greek yogurt or, or mayonnaise for these sauces. But today I'm using Greek yogurt. It's a healthy alternative. But if you're not watching your waistline, I always am. Feel free to use sour cream. So we're gonna take about, let's see. Since I'm only doing two fish tacos, I'd say about half a cup. There we go. This one here is non-fat Greek yogurt. I personally can't tell the difference too much, so I'd rather get the non-fat. And here we have our sriracha, one of the most popular condiments in my refrigerator. So, you can also use chili paste. Again, if you can use other hot sauces if you like, but really, this dish is all about the sriracha. So I put about a tablespoon in there. I might add more later, depending. And of course, garlic powder. Now, here is the secret ingredient. I got this idea from Randy Clemens. He's the author of the Sriracha Cookbook. And he has an entire cookbook with recipes that revolve around sriracha. It's really, really great. And uh, no, he's not paying me to say that. <laughs> okay, so this is your, this is an onion, onion dip mix. Usually you just put it, in, I need a scissor. Usually you just mix it in sour cream and uh, dip chips in it. But here we're gonna use it in our sriracha. And there we go. Now, I'm just going to pour a little bit, not too much, because I'm not doing a whole bunch of this. And, wow, that looks so good. I can smell it. Oh, it's so That's amazing. Like I said, more sriracha. Okay. All right, now all we have to do is cook our fish. So I have a small baking sheet, and 
and chopped onion. Watch this. We take our fish, which has been marinating for 20 minutes. Set it up nicely. I already have the broiler going at low on the top rack. Now, you take this chopped onion. Oh my gosh, this is the best. I actually figured this out because I ran out of sesame seeds and I was thinking what else is crusty? And of course it's chopped onion. So just put it on top like that. This is amazing. Okay. Just like that, make a nice little layer on top. Give them a nice pat. That's it. Now you have onion crusted mahi mahi. Put this in the broiler about seven to ten minutes, and then we're gonna put together our fish tacos. So the fish is definitely done, and in the meantime, I toasted two small flour tortillas. Feel free to use corn tortillas if you prefer those. So let's get our fish. So you can see that the onion actually created a little crust on top. So before we put our fish, let's spread some of our delicious sriracha sauce on each of these tortillas. All right, just like that. See, now you don't need to run to a taco truck. You can have a taco truck in your home and it's healthier. So just take one and two. Each of these pieces of fish is good for one fish taco. So with this amount, you can make four fish tacos. Now, let's add some red onion, cabbage, cilantro, a squeeze of lime, just like that, some salsa, and the most important part, avocado. My favorite way to prepare avocado is just to uh, cube it up. But if you have an awesome guacamole recipe, now would be the time to use it. Okay. Bon appetit. I'm gonna make the second one later. Let's try this one. I'm Sharon Backman, and I'll see you in the next video. Ooh, delicious.